President Trump firing up supporters in Southwest Florida last night, but with five days to go before the midterms, will it be enough to give Ron DeSantis a win over Andrew Gillum in Florida for governor? Right now, let's talk to him on a very busy morning. Ron DeSantis joins us live from Miami. Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, we cited the statistic earlier. So far in Florida, 3.5 million have already early voted or absentee voted. You say that the Republican early vote is, uh, what, two points ahead of the Democrats? Yeah, that's right. I mean, normally Democrats would be ahead of us at this point, and we usually have a big election day turnout. But I think we're succeeding in mobilizing folks, and I think the president coming to Florida is helping that. Uh, so we feel really good about what's going on. And part of it is I think Floridians understand that there's a real significant choice here for the direction of our state. I'm going to build off the success we've had. Our economy's going well. We need to continue that and expand upon it. Uh, Andrew Gillum, the guy I'm running against, wants a 40 percent tax increase, which will cost jobs, cost businesses to leave Florida and prevent uh, what could be a historic flow of investment into Florida over the next several years. So the stakes are high. Let's take a look at the real clear politics average right now. Uh, he, your opponent, is at uh, almost 47 percent and you're almost at 44 uh, percent. Pretty darn tight. I know last night you talked a little bit about how, you know, uh, Andrew Gillum is running on impeaching the president. And what else did you say? Well, I just joked. I mean, you know, he's running as mayor of Tallahassee. Maybe he should be impeached because he got caught now definitively taking illegal gifts from an undercover FBI agent over $1,000 uh, in New York City, $4,300 for a fundraising dinner, which was never disclosed. And then you had the lobbyists that arranged both of those, uh, gave Andrew a $1,000 four-night stay in a luxury Costa Rica villa. And then, of course, Andrew turned around and gave that same lobbyist a $2 million contract with the city of Tallahassee. So that is corruption in action at the municipal level, and it is wrong. One of the things that people of Florida on both coasts are concerned about, the red tide and the green algae. If you were governor, how would you fix that? Good, good appointments to the water management districts, good water quality standards, and then working with the Trump administration to finish these projects, particularly this reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. You send the water there, clean it, then you don't have to discharge it. But here's the thing, Steve. Andrew wants to impeach Trump. How the hell is he going to work with the Trump administration constructively to advance Florida's priorities? So I'll get the job done with the water. Andrew will not. All right. Uh, Ron DeSantis uh, joining us today from Miami. I know sprint to the finish, sir. Thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you.